Hello everyone, today we will be playing Crusader Kings 2 with the approach of Crusader Kings 3. Uh, devs have introduced some cool new challenges, the Monarch's Journey with several leaders, each of them having specific challenges to complete in order to earn points and unlock cool cosmetic rewards. For example, the Wizard's Beard, the Page Boy, Chaperon, Jester's Hat, etc. etc. I had a look at them earlier, but figured let's have a proper go at them and see how we fare together. So I'm going to restart. I have almost all the DLCs, the only one missing is Sunset Invasion. So I'm not gonna mess with the specific settings. So let's start and start with bronze mode. So we were not able to reload in case we mess up. But it's okay, we'll, we'll do fine, we'll do fine. So here we are as King Conan, a petty king that is a duke tiered uh, character. These are the current realms in the game. There's France with the leader the young king, King Philip. Currently there is Duke William II, the bastard of Normandy, fighting to rule against King Harold II of England to rule, become the king of England. But of course we know from history Harold Hardrada is also in this uh, conflict. So for the specific challenges we need to do here, here they are, time bending, so I need to control uh, more provinces. I got 8 points really because I played a bit earlier, so I need to con control for the different difficulties. Uh, yeah, these are the... have to control these particular uh, provinces apparently. Anyway, so bronze, silver and gold difficulty and respectively they will earn us that much points. The gloves come off. Historically King Conan is said to have died due to poison gloves. Ensure that King Conan has a male heir and a few to spare. Knowledge to my sons do not count. Yeah, this challenge is only completable with the original ruler, so well, we need to be make sure that King Conan has uh, five sons alive for gold difficulty. And of course, preemptive self-defense. Uh, have you and your dynasty members kill as many of William of the Normandy's dynasty members as possible? Give Killing William himself gives two points. Progress continues for as long as you play the featured ruler's dynasty. So the first and the and the, uh, third challenge uh, will count with uh, future offsprings of my current character. However, the second one we can only do with with King Conan. So knowing what we need to do, let's jump right in. So this is us, currently we only control this one county within our duchy. This is our council, the little fist icon means this is a powerful vassal, so they demand to be on the council, otherwise they will start causing trouble. Some of them are really good, like the chancellor. So let's already send him to fabricate some claims on our neighbors. Our marshal is alright I guess. Oh, that dude's pretty lame. Hmm. This guy's utterly useless. Might even fire him or send him to die. This guy is an okay spy master, not, not the best. You're going to be my spy master. 
we're switching them like this to avoid upsetting them. Oh, well, this guy needs to go from here. Well, then it's pretty good with uh, stewardship, so... Yeah, as I said, it's not a good idea to fire them, because they won't be happy with me, but... Who cares? One dude I can manage. You should train some troops for us. It's a good idea sometimes to send them to study some technology far away. Constantinople is usually a good bet at this stage of the game. Now set him to research on cultural technology. We don't really need to worry about religion much since most of our neighbors are Christian anyway. Or Catholic to be more precise. This is my bastard son. We can legitimize him. And now these are our stats. Luckily we're really good on intrigue. That should come in handy. When trying to assassinate. Let's look for a wife. Now. Adelaide, Princess of Hungary. She has fertility. Hence, well, not, she has Midas touched uh, studies. So that gives plus 15% fertility, that should be useful for us. So let's go ahead with that marriage. Since we're doing the challenges, we need high fertility on our characters. Now, we could go family focus, but I rather go seduction focus because it gives us extra intrigue and still gives us that fertility bonus we want. And we can also set groom and heir as our current ambition. While active fertility is increased by 20% and once your child reaches 12 years you may choose the right click their portrait and choose to introduce heir to realm. Yeah. Now these are the current inheritance laws, it's agnetic cognatic gavel kind. So currently my sister is my heir, unless I legitimize my bastard son. Otherwise it's male first, then female within the dynasty. So I'm the, the Rennes dynasty. Here we could change the laws but Yeah, I do have some vassals negative opinion of me, since I just fired them. Plus for primogenitor, it's a bit of a... For that one, we don't have the technology needed to get it. Also should be noted that we have gavel kind, which means when we die, our owned territory directly under our control. Currently it doesn't matter since we only have one county. Would be divided between our... Between our uh, sons. Uh, or our heirs. Anyway, we set up pretty well. Oh yes, Duke William is here. This is not the time to pick a fight with them. So we can just... Or let's see if we can start plotting already. And have his son murdered. Oh, there are interests here, I see. That is a pretty good boost. We're gonna give out a lot of our money, but might be worth it on pause. Let's give it a bit of speed up here. A lot of the game is wait and see what happens. Princess Ar Arpad Adelaide and King Conan are getting married. We can collect a real aid duty to pay for the ceremony. Sure. 
to the bright King Conan, blessing upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that King Conan and Princess Arpa of Adelaide get married. Now we're in a bit of a precarious position because the King of France may declare war on us and try to take. Oh, dear King Conan of Brittany, during your vice recent visit to Zemgale, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. I suggest a non aggression pact between us for the near future, and we will welcome any visitors from Ariel with open arms. Kind regards, High Chief Kurlamusha. I think that's how you would pronounce it. He's far away. Sure. Not that it really matters for us. Now, since we're the neighbor of France, as I was saying, they might declare war on us, which is not a good idea for us because they have, well, 8,000 troops and I have. 1038 so one good thing is to do is swear fealty and start disassembling the France from inside and slowly take over all right gonna swear fealty so we will become part of France soon to the magnificent King Conan may you live in harmony and contentment I accept you as my vassal. Henceforth, you will enjoy my protection as your liege lord. Good news! My co-conspirator Bishop Guilard of Evron has let me know that Count Robert of Maine will soon have a fragile fall of the castle parapets. Fly, little bird, fly! Also, might be a good idea to start swaying our wife to increase our opinion opinion of each other. And we do a bit of waiting in success. It seems little Count Robert of Maine had not yet learned how to fly. He died a quick and presumably painless death. Chicken for lunch today, I think. One. Just four more to go from there. That lovely family line. And they are none the wiser. 